Hello, my name is Kark82 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons season three. Uh, really quick before we get going here, I would like to thank all my Patreon supporters and all my viewers that stick with the channel day after day. Absolutely amazing. And uh, it's just uh, really appreciate everyone that uh, has supported the channel over the years. Um, I love doing this for your everyone, and I hope you enjoy watching my content. Even though I'm not like some super expert at Minecraft, and uh, I don't have like super edited videos, I know that it's just not my style, really. Plus, uh, I do this in my spare time, so uh, I don't have tons of extra real life time to spend editing and. Stuff like that and half the stuff I don't even know how to do anyway so <laughs> maybe one day uh, we'll do a little bit I should even I should just at least get an intro for my videos maybe one day um, but yeah uh, it is what it is I just play Minecraft and record and hopefully it's not too boring but uh, all right anyway we are just last episode, we crafted up our um, HV energy hatch, and then we ended up moving our blast furnace over here. So we moved it out of the main base, which is nice. Yes, so as we could see, the, the muffler hatch is in the middle, so it's in this chunk. So 200,000. Hopefully, it'll spread out the pollution a bit. So this is 272. This was this usually stays at about yeah 390 is what uh, it stays at. But I'm hoping after a little while, it will dissipate some of the pollution. I think one million is where you start really getting. Or is it 500,000? It might be 500,000 uh, gibble, or whatever that's called, where you start getting the slow. Um, and I think a million is when you really start seeing issues. I totally didn't mean to fall off. Uh, with grass dying, trees, leaves turning brown, and stuff like that. I think that's a million. Um, the only times I've noticed that is when I have an explosion. Um, because that sends your pollution like into the mul many millions and then like everything dies off almost immediately so i'm gonna try to avoid that although when we start getting into these like big huge multis they put out tons and tons of pollution i just don't want the whole world to turn brown i would like to sort of keep it Kind of nice looking. Uh, I was just looking at that silverwood, and I never did finish fixing that over there. I was going to plant some more silverwoods to convert that. Was it eerie biome? But I haven't done it yet. All right. Um, so I'm going to, I'm kind of spending some time and uh, cleaning up base so um, I'm getting rid of some of our pipes and stuff that we don't need I would like to get rid of this and um, what was this here oh was this water I think this was water um, this was the the thing that we used to cool our coolant with um, obviously, I don't plan on keeping a farm right here. I know I looked at this not that long ago. What here? Oh, that needs ZPM circuits. All right. <laughs> Greenhouse is quite a bit more complex. I thought it was EV um, because it does say minimal tier is EV, but... Yeah, that needs ZPM circuits. So it's locked behind quantum circuits. Uh, 
Yeah, so it's gonna be um IV, yeah. I mean technically we could do it with this, but that's very ex is that expensive? No, actually I think that's just a regular that is. I know some of the recipes, um, the circuit assembler recipe is like, yeah. So as you can see, the circuit assembler recipe is six times as expensive as that, but it looks like the ZPM one actually isn't. Oh, but the quantum, quantum, yeah, the quantum one is not either. I mean, you do save on Soldier in LA, but uh, anyway, we will be getting into that, uh, but not today. All right, um, so I'm going to continue moving stuff around, I think. I'm going to finish the placing glass, I think. I just kind of threw some sand in our arc furnace over here, and we have some sand up here I was producing. So I'm just going to go around and kind of clean up a bit and then we can start thinking about the the rocket is kind of like our next big thing. Now I do believe it's HV. Um, question is, do I want to start? We won't be able to do much with it, but we can actually, I don't know. I was thinking like maybe doing the AE chests or whatever uh, to start. Because uh, we can craft that up. Like, and it's not even that difficult now. I don't know. I would like to get rid of most of this stuff, though. Okay, we are back. I've done a little bit of building. Well, nothing super fancy or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I got the, the glass and everything on these buildings. I probably will get a another blast furnace relatively relatively soon. Um, because the our power cable or whatever can handle four amps of hv so yeah we can handle like another one uh, i would just need to craft up another hv energy hatch um but i think what i want to get done is actually i'm going to work on upgrading some of these machines probably the bending machine um would like to get rid of this as well but you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna break this down uh, i haven't used it in a while i just realized i am getting alumina which well i can just smelt that normally uh, you can either do that or you can compress it Yeah, but I think we're going to get rid of that, I think. All right, that, uh, that looks a lot better. I'm going to throw it in here. And get the, the bronze back, too, which is good to know. Pretty sure these input buses and stuff can't be used in any other uh, multi-block, so. Alright, cool. So, just throw that away. Man, this place is starting to look empty. 
I like it. Um, so yeah, if we need another compressor, I'll probably just craft up an HV version. All right. Um, what I would, I think I want to get done is actually redo. I want to move, I want to get the power moved away from the central location. Um, yeah, I think I want to do that. Um, but I do need to, we can't do the next tier of battery buffer because it requires titanium. But I think, yeah, I think I'm going to move those away and Mm, I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, what am I going to do with my steam? Yeah, I haven't broken these down. They are... They produce the, the lowest amount they can. They're totally calcified. Um, I think... Yeah, I do think I want to build it over here. And I just need to maybe... I'm just trying to think, like, how am I going to get the power... Maybe transform it up. And maybe I'll do that. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to craft up a couple of these high V amp. Amp things. We have the Cooper Nickel wire, uh, coil blocks. Gold, aluminum, relatively easy. All right, so this can actually hold um, 16 amps of HV. I think what we're going to do and eventually we'll probably have multi-blocks doing this and eventually eventually we could probably transfer the the power with p2p in there somewhere yeah greg tech you you do lose a little bit of um transfer you lose a little bit of the eat but like we could just run the cabling um and not have to do the wires but uh yeah, I think I'm going to run the, the cabling underneath. I'm just trying to kind of map out how I'm going to do this. I think I may move the the steam over as well. But the first thing I need to do is get the um, the power over or the the fuel. So we're just gonna run the fuel with the pipes underneath, and then I'm gonna pipe the the power back. I think I'm just gonna. Like I think it'll just go underneath. Yeah. Like output underneath. These will be our 
Actually, I think we have... No, we have... How many do we have? We have four, I think. One HV and three of the other one. And then I do have... I could always... If I move the steam over, I could pipe the steam into there. And that could output into there. Uh, do I have a screwdriver? I think our screwdriver is in here, isn't it? Yeah, I really should have. Um, not that I use the toolbox often, but I really should have both. Um, like have it separate tools for like screwdriver and crowbar should be in there but uh should have separate ones for that okay so that's going to output two amps i think we'll do two amps that way i don't have to do the cabling i don't have to do four amps of cabling one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right, so about uh, twenty-six or so. And then we'll do two X. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, eventually, when we upgrade, we'll probably do the combustion engine. I think that is a decent... That is a decent power source. Because um, if you feed it oxygen, it get, you get three amps of EV... Um, we will probably do nuclear as well. Nuclear is a great thing. So, yeah, at that point, I will probably be upgrading the, the wires anyway underneath. All right. So, yeah, I think I'll start with two amps. Um, and then I do think I might... Yeah, I might move all these steam pipes, get that out of the main base too. Uh, only minor issue with that is I need some for uh, uh, steam cracking. Okay, so there is the V transformer and we're gonna pipe that in that'll take two amps and then I'll put eight we could even uh, if I upgrade these cables we could add more um, I'm gonna leave it for now though because these can handle six amps so I'm just gonna leave the six amps in there yeah I can't wait to get all this stuff removed and then Hopefully, hopefully this is enough amps. Now, I put this down one in case I want to lower this like I kind of did over there. I kind of like how it, it drops down one block. Wow, I actually got, I got the right number. I just kind of guessed with 26, but apparently it was exactly 26. Alright, and then what we'll do is have these, like, next to it. So this will be piping the fuel over here. Um, now, it's going to take me... A hot minute to get that 
but uh, that's what I'm thinking. So instead of coming into this, we'll come up here and then over. I think I can. Yeah, I think I can actually. I guess I probably need the 2x. I think I just need the one. Yeah, because I'm just going to have four amps on that side, I think. And then... And then the other side, I can just do regular gold cables, I think. Actually, we have four. Yeah, I'll do one more. Like, we have plenty of gold, but I don't want to... I'm trying not to waste too much. All right, so I do think I'm gonna, maybe I'll leave. Yeah, maybe I'll leave. Oh, actually. I'm gonna have to, we'll pipe the fuel in underneath. Actually, probably better to put this on this side. And then the steam on the other side, maybe? Just because we're producing the fuel on here, it's going to be on the this side of the cable. And then it's going to come up underneath. Yeah. So it'll be coming in this way. Wait, we do have three, right? Yeah, 3 MV. Yeah, so it'll come up underneath and then it'll fill this. And then I'll put into here, which will transform up. Yep, that has the power, and then that should, every once in a while, should be sending two amps of power back, I think. Uh, we're not burning a lot of fuel at the moment, but... Actually, let me, um... Let me turn the blast furnace on, because then we start... Drawing a bunch of power. Just so I can make sure that I have not screwed this up. All right. Yeah, there we go. So we should be. Yep, there we go. All right, we're transferring. It looks like it's only doing one amp, but uh, I wasn't. Oh, of course, it's. We only have the one HV machine. It's not going to be doing multiple amps. But I wasn't sure if it was going to wait. I wasn't sure if the transformers would wait till it gets two amps and then send two amps of EV. I wasn't entirely sure. Now, obviously, we are kind of losing some power, but uh, it's not as bad with the EV machines. All right. So with that in mind, I think... 
I'm going to disconnect this and get these moved over as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll reconnect it. Okay, I decided uh, just to throw down a fluid heater, produce the steam over here, and then that way I don't I need to can't get to it. <laughs> no, I don't know if I can get to it. Ah, All right, couldn't reach it. Kind of funny. All right, so that one all right so yeah that will produce the steam down i'll put right into there so uh yeah it's not super fast but this way i can disconnect it from our our steam and i can get rid of all these pipes um don't don't love that cup it down, but uh, I'll figure out. I'll figure that out. All right. And then, yeah, I think that is that taken care of. All right, nice. And then this will get that will get closed up, I think. Yeah, it looks a bit silly because I have full planks and slabs. Um, but yeah, so I was just I was trying to figure out like how am I going to get steam from over here into the main base, and I just decided to uh, just completely separate it. No, I do use these. Might be time to... Oh, my steam oven. Didn't think about that. All right. These I can easily replace. Steam oven, though, that does need to be... By the steam. Also, I remembered that uh, the rain will make the stuff explode. So I actually did remember in time. That's interesting. Yeah, this one is burning just a bit more fuel than the other ones. Uh, I do have my blast furnace on. Uh, smelting stainless steel because I was trying to clear out some of the fuel but i think we are good to connect it again so we should that should be sending f yep fuel down the pipes and yeah that will turn on which will also turn this on so we'll see everything should be hunky dory um yeah obviously these tiny potent pipes can't do a they don't have a huge amount of throughput but you don't really need a ton All right, so those will slowly fill up. All right, cool. That was surprisingly easy. Now the steam. I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to break all these, I think. Look at that. We have a... Uh, I didn't realize we had... Not another light over here.
I, I am gonna, I'm just gonna break all these for now, uh, because they were calcified anyway. Maybe I'll leave like one. Produce steam. Yeah, and then I'm going to break this and bring this with. These three water tanks can supply that. Actually, yeah, let me break all this down. I might, with the steam oven, I maybe I will, I'll do a fluid heater for that as well. I don't know. But I'm thinking. Maybe I'll do this up here again. Okay, I've gone ahead and set up our solar panels over by the, the other part. And I ended up having an uneven amount, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just throw this back over here. Uh, so we have two solar panels over here. It's not my main power source anyway, so worst case scenario, they run out of... I'm not producing enough steam. Um, but I did place this down at night so these can fill with water. I am just filling it from this reservoir. Um, it is infinite, but it's not like super, super fast. Uh, so it should be fine once these all fill up. Um, that is, I mean, that's eight. That's what, 300 buckets of water it's having to produce, so. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, once it fills up, they're fine. It's doing both sides as, as well, so. Yeah, it's up to this one, it looks like. So we should be good. Um, and then I will connect to this. Underneath. That might actually be not the best way to do that, actually. Having that split, but oh well. Oh. And I'm going to do gold. Even though this is only producing LV. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then I'm actually going to paint this. Since it's only producing LV. I guess technically those are. These are only producing MV, but I have a gold. Eh, no, I don't like that. We'll just go. We'll go gold. All right, we are producing steam. And I believe these are producing power. Yeah, I think that's fine. Unfortunately, I don't think... I kind of wish you preferred this over the fuel, but it is what it is. All right. Well, anyway, I am happy with that. Uh, do we still have... Still haven't sorted out my jetpack. Oh, there we go. It did 
It's melted all uh, 25 stainless steel, so it wasn't even running. So, All right. That is looking good. We got our steam. We moved our steam out of the base. Not fully, but at least that's away from me burning my face every single time I... I'm underneath. I'm gonna fill that in. All right, I think we're good from the rain, but hopefully that will drop the pollution a little bit. Yeah, we're already down to two ninety six um, from almost four hundred. All right, cool. I think I like that. Really opens up the place down here as well. And maybe we can find a place for our vacuum cruiser. Because now we don't really need this anymore. Alright, well, I'm going to continue doing some uh, upgrades for the machines that's really just me crafting lots of stuff it is a bit time consuming but uh yeah i am i'm i'm uh i'm liking how the base is turning out um i will probably build build a structure ah build a structure around this as well Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then I'll, I'll do something with that. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.